Hey, this is Nicola from Podia, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your website navigation and footer. To customize the navigation, click into this header section, and here you'll have the option to upload a logo and add links to whatever content you'd like to feature on your site. I'm going to click here to add a new link, and the first page I'm going to add is my About page. You can paste in any URL you'd like, or you can go to this drop down menu, click page, and pull in your page directly this way. I'm going to go through and add all my main pages that I'd like to show in my navigation. So now I've got all four of my main links added. You can add as many links as you want here, but I would recommend keeping it to just one line in this header. If you have so many links that they spill over onto a second line, sometimes it doesn't look as neat and it can just look a little crowded. So try to keep this focused on just your most important links. The other option you have is to toggle this login button on or off. And this is for if you sell digital products or courses on your Podia website, your customers and students can come here to log in and access their products. If you don't sell products right now, go ahead and turn that off. But if you do, it's a good idea to leave it on just so your customers can find their material. Next, we're gonna to go to the design tab and you can choose how you want your links to be laid out here. And you can customize things like the size of the navigation and the color. I think I like this dark one the best. So now let's go down to the footer. Your website's footer shows up on every single page of your website. And it's another great space to tell people what your business is all about if, you, if they've landed on your website for the first time. So you can include your logo here. You can add a bit of text about your business. You can also add important links and you can add links to your social channels. So that's a nice thing to add down here as well. Here's what this looks like now that I've got everything filled in. I added a text, some links, my socials, and there's also an option to have an email opt-in form in your footer. If you already have an opt-in form on most of your pages, you might not need this, but this can be a really great way to just make sure that everyone who lands on your site has the opportunity to get on your email list. So next, let's go to the design options. And like with the header, we can customize the color, the size, the layout, and all kinds of great stuff in the footer. I think I'm gonna stick with this dark color. I made a few little adjustments here so that my text fits nicely into these two columns. And now I'm gonna press publish and view site to make sure everything looks the way I want it to. And I can click into any of these links and it'll take me to other pages of my site. You can see that the header and the footer are staying the same. All right, that's all there is to it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on building your website in Podia and we can't wait to see what you make.